Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the 14A notes on experimental probability. Uh, at the end of this, you should be able to say I can find the experimental probability, relative frequency, um, of a given experiment. Okay, with the uh, upcoming holidays coming, uh, I figure I'll try this one on for size. All right, <clears throat> first thing, probability scale. All right, so um, over here at zero, this means it will not happen. It's just absolutely not going to happen. On the other end of the probability scale, you have one, which means it will happen, absolutely. And then you have everything else in between. One half is equal change chance of happening. Very unlikely is the bottom quarter. Uh, the second quarter is unlikely. Third quarter is likely. And then the last quarter is very likely. All right? OK. Um, with that. We have um, some different little um, terms that we want to talk about. That's what I was trying to spit out. Trials, okay, is simply the number of uh, times an experiment is performed. Okay, the outcomes are the different possible re results of an experiment. Uh, the frequency is the number of times the outcome is observed. And then relative frequency is the frequency um, of an outcome expressed as a fraction or percent. Of the total number of trials. Okay, so a really simple version of that would be uh, flip a coin ten times. The results you get six heads and four tails. So the trials on that would be um, let's see, let's put that in blue. That would be ten. Okay, different possible results of the experiment are the outcomes. That would be heads or tails. Frequency, the number of times the outcome is observed. So you could say six heads and four tails and then the frequency expressed as a fraction or percent would be 60 percent heads and 40 percent tails okay so that's what all of those mean uh, according to this here all right so let's try our own example on that um let's see we have a hundred and ten fluff unicorns are tossed 57 land on their side 31 land on their feet, and 22 land on their back. Find the relative frequency um, of all three outcomes. And the book will often refer to rel relative frequency as RF. Okay, so let's see. We have here, um, we'll figure out the relative frequency for the side, for the uh, feet, and for the back. All right, so let's see, you had 110 total possibilities right so that's going to be the bottom part of all of our fractions okay and then let's see we have 57 land on their side so 57 out of the 110 land on the side 31 out of 110 land on their feet and then 22 out of 110 land on their back okay so let's use our handy dandy calculator to figure that out. Okay, so here we go. So let's do 57 divided by 110, and we get 0 0.518. 518, and ugh, that's terrible. I can't read that. 518, there we go. So the relative frequency is always as a percent, so it's 51.8%. Let's do the same thing with this one here. We'll do 31 divided by 110, and we get 28.2. Oops, 0.282 if we're being official here. 0.282, so that's 28.2%. And then we'll do the last one, which is 22 over 110. And that gives us 0.2, or 20%. Okay, so um, that's really it on the uh, relative frequency there, is just figuring out the percent of times that it happens, each of the um, different events happen. Okay, so now you should be able to say I can find the uh, experimental probability, which is the relative frequency of a given experiment. All right, if you have any questions, please ask. Thanks.